This is my original sketchbook drawing and it was inspired after I received a photo of two of my granddaughters and their dad all dressed up to go to a daddy-daughter dance. And I thought they looked so wonderful and so happy that it was like they were two princesses being escorted to a ball by their very own Prince Charming, their daddy. So let's paint some princesses together. So we're gonna start our first little girl, and this is the older girl. And she is old enough, she's maybe a young teen. And we're going to give her an oval head and a nice long neck. Put a line across here to indicate her shoulders. You don't want to make them too wide. And then give her kind of a classic V torso. And I want to make her torso the same length as her head and her neck. So I'm going to measure it from here to here. And put her skirt on. There's her big fluffy skirt. And one arm is going to start right here from the corner, come down, and we're going to just come here and kind of have it look like it's going to go and meet at the end, but it's going to disappear behind these, the skirt. I'm going to do the same thing for this side, bring it down, and come down a little bit, and then almost have it meet at the wrist, but it's going to disappear behind the cloud of skirt. So we're going to give her some hair, and let's just S-curves. Think S-curves. We're going to bring it down, and I'm not going to draw it all now, but we're going to bring it down, and let's bring some in front. Maybe bring some like that. Just this lovely luscious hair. And let's have this hair go down in the back. And you can see it go behind her. Princesses, don't they usually have long hair? We won't do this so much like Rapunzel, but we'll give her a nice head of hair. Okay, and remember I can change this up, I can erase it. If I have too many lines, I want to get this nice super hair kind of look. And let's put in um, an eye right about there and just a little indication of a mouth. That's pretty good. Okay, now I can jump in and use my pen. And today I'm going to be using, because I want to keep my drawing nice and delicate, I'm going to be using just a plain ballpoint pen, a black ballpoint pen. Look at the nice fine line it has. Um, I want to do that, and um, because it's thinner than the ultra fine sharpie that I usually use. But I want to be careful that I use a ballpoint pen and not a gel pen. Here's a gel pen. That gives a nice fine point too. But look what happens when water hits the gel pen. The gel pen dissolves and the ballpoint, whoops, the ball, that's the color from the ballpoint. The ballpoint So I'm going to use a nice, fine, ballpoint, black ballpoint pen. But I want you to make sure, do a little test before you start your project so you don't have a nasty surprise. Here is a gel pen, a rollerball gel pen, and that is not um, permanent or color fast. Look what happens. It, the pen bleeds out 
and you'll get um, dark colors. Here's the ballpoint, nothing but the, the gel pen will create a dark um, gray tone, which you don't want in this picture. Maybe in another picture, but not this one. So make sure you have a um, nice ballpoint pen. So I'm just going to start, probably start with her head. And I'm not going to try to make that her chin in one swoop. I'm going to take a couple short lines and I'm going to make the curve of her dress. And I've kept the, the bodice of the dress very simple. And here's her arms. And let's do other arm. They're not touching. And let's put in her eyes. Let's do that because we want our focus to be on on the um, dress and the hair. Okay, so let's take a little minute and draw in the hair. And I'm just going to do um, the main curls. I'll maybe come back here and follow this up. And follow that. Okay. And do the same on this side. All right. And then I think I will start to put a few flowers on the dress. And I'm going to start with the waist, and I'm going to paint some little petals here to um, kind of start that off. And I'm going to do some rose shapes and a couple little flowers. So I will do a rose. You kind of go in a circle like that, or a little spiral, and then go in the opposite direction, and start to go in the opposite directions, and kind of make it bigger and bigger. So right, left, right, left, right, and you can have a couple of things like this, right, left, right, left, just quick, a little suggestion of a flower. So we'll make some rose shapes and maybe a few daisies and a few leaves on our flowers and maybe a stem of leaves like this here and there just a few to make this um, lovely floral skirt. Now I'm not going to draw the outside edge I'm going to leave that um, that to be done with the paint. So let's just do some really quick, really quick, light, don't press hard, we're pressing very lightly, suggestions of flowers. And I'm just going to do bigger roses first, and maybe have only half roses at the edge here and there, and spread them out. Just qu real quickly, and then fewer and fewer as you get towards the bottom. We want this to like fade into nothing, just less and less. Okay, and in between, here and there, I'm going to put a little daisy. Very light pen stroke, so I'm barely touching. So she has a little variety, like a garden of flowers skirt. And then let's put a little branch of um, leaves, just a few here and there. Like her dress was.
tossed flowers were tossed up into the air and they came down as a beautiful pattern on a skirt okay and then let's put some le a few pet leaves Not too much. We don't want to overdo this. Just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. That looks like plenty. And you see how it just kind of doesn't have an end to the dress. It just kind of ends like that. And so now I'm going to use my kneaded eraser. I'm going to hold on to my paper so it doesn't slide around and erase all my pencil lines. Because we don't we want our paper to be as clean as can be. Now I'm going to come up here and draw in the hair. Let me show you. If this is a a, a section of hair. I'm going to, it starts at a point and ends at a point, something like a leaf shape, organic shape. I'm going to go to one point and go back down to the other point. Go to this point. I'm just going, not going to pick up my, see I put a curl on here. I'm going to go up, down, up, and down. It kind of, and I can make it bigger. And grow it. Just kind of go to the point, one point, and kind of continue to expand on that here and the, the the shape of it. So I'm going to let's see, start here and section that off a little bit and bring my down, up, down, up. So just as a suggestion of here. Let's come down to here and up, down, up, and then here. Come down here, this is such a small space. Being careful. Let's do this side. And there's her pretty hair coming down. Okay. Alrighty. If we want, we can put another little another little curl here. Maybe we could put some more later, but let's see. All right. So now we are going to start with the skirt. And I want our colors to flow together. So because of that, I am going to put a wash of water all over where my skirt is. And I'm going to do it in thin layers of water, one on top of each other. Because the first layer is going to be absorbed just a little bit. And so then I want to put another layer on top so it's not drippy. I don't want this to be dripping and puddles of water but I do want it to be saturated enough that it will stay wet for the time it takes me to paint my skirt because I want the colors to be running into each other. And I'm going to put a little. So if I'm I'm looking kind of at an angle and I can see 
if it stays shiny. And that's what I want it to do, to stay shiny. Okay, so I'm going to activate my watercolors by giving just a little shot of water so I can work a little bit faster because I need to work quickly with these colors because I don't want them to, uh, don't want my skirt to dry out. So I'm going to start with a pink and it's watered down and I'm going to end up watering it down more and I'm going to choose colors that mix nicely with pink. So we could use a darker pink, we could use a crimson color which has a little uh, touch of um, orange in it. It's a little orangier color. I'm not going to paint everything. I'm going to just take some clean, clear water and come down here at the bottom so the paint just bleeds right to kind of invisibility. It's so thin. Okay, leave some white spaces. Okay, then I'm going to come in and get a little darker color and just touch my roses and see what happens. The paint just flows all on its own and creates a, um, a very, very soft effect here because we're painting wet on wet, this is called. And I'll even paint a few that aren't here. Okay, these are going to, the longer I leave it, the more it's going to kind of flow into each other. So let's take a little different um, scarlet, like I was speaking about, and um, here, let's get this one. And I'll do the little touch on the daisy flower. It's maybe a little too bright. I don't want it that bright. Just very subtle. We want this very subtle color. I gotta work a little quicker here. Get my papers dry. Okay. And I think I will look for a subtle green to go in and paint my leaves very light. I'm gonna mix it with water so there's very little color. I'm going to just touch a little green. of the dress. Kind of fluffed it even higher than it is already. So let's paint in her bodice of her dress. And I use the tip of my brush here. And I want this to be all wet at the same time so it's a nice even flow of paint. So I Want it all wet at the same time. There and um, I'm going to paint the petals in a little darker color. Let's see how this looks. So it's kind of frames the skirt a little bit. The top of the skirt kind of sets it off. I think I like that. And so now we're going to go up and do the, um, let's do the flesh color. So I'm going to take a very light pink and add just a touch of a warm yellow 
or um, a light orange, very little color, just to warm up the pink. I'm going to put a little extra on the cheeks just by touching it. Come over here and touch her arms with it. She is light skinned. All right, and now we're going to give her some fun hair. And I'm going to coordinate that with her outfit. And she's got some lovely pink locks. We can color our hair in um, a painting, can't we? With no worries. Oh boy, she's got some pretty bright hair. Would you like hair this color? I know a young lady who does, and she looks terrific in it. It's a short, bright pink bob, and it looks adorable. So here we have our princess, our little girl princess, and she is lovely. But I think we can take her a little bit farther and um, to get her to real princess mode. And so first thing I want to do is to make a crown. So let's add a crown here. We're going to flare it out and have some peaks and maybe little pearls at the top. And let's make her hair a little more dramatic. Just come down here and kind of make some S, S's, S curves. I think I'm just going to uh, a little warmer colors to the hair. Make sure it's thinned down enough. It's not too bright. It's quite a head of hair. Maybe bring it down a little farther out like this. So it becomes kind of a triangular shape. Just get that little outside feel to it, just so it looks like it's in motion.
and let's find a pretty golden color for the crown. I think I'm going to have to mix up a color. Let's just try this pretty color. It really stands out, doesn't it? And we want the crown to stand out because it sets our princess off as being a royal. So there's that. And then I think I'd like to add a little more fun and glitter. So I'm going to just add a little bit of glue and put a dot of glue, just simple school glue around on my picture and I'm going to spread this up here on the top of her dress and I think right here so let's shake some glitter on Pour it off. So here is our princess, all finished, looking beautiful and ready for the ball. And look how pretty her hair is. Aren't those beautiful tresses? And the next thing we're going to do is to draw the little girl. Just do this again. Here's the little girl. And she has sh little s squatter proportions because she's younger. So we're going to just talk about that in drawing her picture. And I'm going to paint her on a piece of heavy duty, good quality, 130 pound watercolor paper. And remember what the most important thing with watercolor? supplies is your paper. So I'm going to start again in the middle of the paper and this time I'm going to put not an oval but we're going to put a circle for the little girl's head and you know they have talked about baby faces on a round baby face. As a, as a child starts to grow up their face goes from um, round to oval. So now we want for a younger girl to make a round face, a rounder face. The other girl was oval. So there's, we've got the neck in and we're going to put the shoulders and we're going to put the body in. Now bef with the older girl we put a body that was the same length as the head and the neck but because this little girl is younger, their torsos are shorter. And so I went, if I measure out the height of the head, I'm going to erase this old measurement. Here is how high the head is. And I want the body to be about the same height that the head is. So here to here. So this is where I'm going to put my waist. Right there. Okay. And that just makes it, the um, image there look like a younger child. So, not the tall, lean child of a, but I still gave her a very graceful long neck. Yes, she's holding her head up high. She's a princess. So, and here's her arms, just kind of trailing off. And remember, I've got to turn this this way so I get that, I'm able to draw that nice arc and this is the height of her waist. I want her arms to go below it so I can shorten these up a little bit. But still, we're not going to see any the where these arms end. And now I'm going to put a 
our dress in here too. And this is going to be this big, once again, fluffy, bigger than life princess dress. There we go. And um, she has hair, but we're going to give her a fun ponytail that comes out to the side. So here's one curve, and let's bring around another, like this, and let's bring one down like this. Okay, and it's kind of coming out from here. Okay, so here's our little princess, and now I'm going to take my ballpoint pen, black ballpoint pen, and I'm going to go over the lines. I'm not going to put in ears or anything like that. You know what I didn't put in is her eyes. Always good to do it in pencil. You want to get them looking right. Get them wide enough. Just a little. If you want to attempt doing a little um, mouth, it's fine. We want to keep this uh, easy and um, worrying us. Just simple lines. So I'm going to put in a curve for the two parts, maybe three, so I get the shape. Nice. Here's the neck. And I'm going to put Let's do the arms. I'm going to let the arms just kind of disappear. I'm not even going to show them coming to a point. I should have done that with the other one. The big girl. Just let it kind of disappear. Here. Here. And her eyes. And now. Let's do part of her ponytail. And these are all S curves. You see the S? S? You see that S? That's what they're kind of made up of. S curves. Okay. I'm going to come down here and put some little daisy type flowers in. Remember how I did it with the other? Just kind of quick and light and random. You can let some end at the side and put the full one in. Just part of the flower. We want our dress to look see-through. Just kind of not do the whole thing. And I think I'm just going to do that and a few leaves. Younger girls make it simpler. You make it like the pattern a little simpler for them. They're not as sophisticated. So I'm just going to keep this. Simple. Maybe put a few little dots around to indicate tiny, itty-bitty flowers. Okay, so let's erase this and see how it is. I'm going to fluff up my kneaded eraser. Oop, I forgot my waistline. I can put that in. Okay, now I'm just going to, there, it looked like a little frown. I don't want my little girl to be frowning. Okay, so I am going to take a moment here 
to go in and do the hair like we did the other one. Just take, go back and forth. And enlarge, fill in the shapes. You can leave a few pockets of uh, air in between. Remember that volu volum voluptuous? No, vol volum full of volume, voluminous. That's the word I'm trying to say, voluminous. Yes, we definitely want voluminous here. And there. Cute as a button. All right. We're going to paint. And I am going to use a very light hand. I'm just going to do this whole thing. Her dress and her skirt. And I want to make sure I have clean water because I don't want to have, I'm going to bring this clean container of water over. I don't want to have um, dirty water to contaminate my colors. I want them nice and clean and bright and sparkling. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to put several coats of water on here so that there is a nice layer of water that will um, suspend my pigments in and it will float around. And I'm going to start with a um, very light pretty turquoise. And once again I'm just going to add some water here. I'm not going to put it everywhere. I think I'm going to come up here and put it in her. And if I leave little areas of white and let it fade to white, it's going to give that feeling of uh, just lovely, fluffy transparency. The kind of special special dress that a princess would wear. Okay, and I'm going to find another blue so that this is um, harmonious. And let's see, here's another blue. And flowers can be blue. I don't want these colors to be strong. I want these colors to be very, very soft. Just softness and little girls go together. So, just, yeah, just fade off the picture. And let's see, I need another blue, a little truer blue this time, just to have a little variety. Just going to try and touch in here. Touch around in the wetness. See how they, they, they just kind of uh, flows. You have a little variety there. And I also want a tiny bit of green. So I'm going to um, stick with a green that will mix nicely with a blue. And I want this to be very light also. I want this to be predominantly a blue dress with just a little fleck of green. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to hit this with a little touch of water and let the colors flow. And there. All right, now let's um, do her hair. And let's 
coordinate again. We're going to coordinate with our outfit. So just a little blue. Should go a little lighter. Pick it up and swirl it around. Some empty spaces. I think I'm going to add a little violet to it. Let's see where can I add a little violet? And the color is just going to work its way through and Got it just a touch here and there, down here, so they're coordinated. You want to be careful not to add too much. This is, we can lose our delicate feel to it if we do that. And then we, uh, you know what we can do? I can even go out of the lines here if I want to. So they look even a little more. A softer look. Okay. And we need a little bit of that flesh color so that I mixed a tiny bit of watered down pink and a tiny bit of yellow Gonna add a little pink to the cheeks there just let it flow see how the arms just are disappearing into the dress. I'm going to just add a little bit of color right there. Just pull that color. And there you go. I'm just going to, she's pretty, still pretty wet. Can you see the wetness? I'm just going to set her aside and let her dry. So here is our little princess all finished. I've added a tiny crown and some glitter to her dress. And here we have our two beautiful girls all dressed up and transformed into princesses ready to go to the ball with their Prince Charming Daddy. Well, thanks for painting with me at Mimi Sketchbook. And please post your pictures. I'd love to see them.